See, how long is this game? Really long, comparatively. Like, I want to say reviewers were saying it was like 50-something hours. Which is kind of insane. And kind of worrying. Just because, you know, I like beating games and something this long is concerning. Okay, let's try her again. Damn it. Okay, I was not immediately ready. Why did I do the thing that I just did? Okay. Okay. And I'm dead. Let's try that again. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I did forget to talk to Emma. I, You know what? Let's see if I can... I'm going to give this one or two more tries. I just have to not get thrown off on the first one. You can get the Dragon Rot blood off the merchant. Ye I... I still don't think it actually does what I need it to yet. To be totally honest. Okay. Damn it. Damn it, I tried with the shuriken. It's not working. It's just the immediate intro to this fight does not go great for me. Okay. Let's see. Well, my poise damage is better. Let's see, I think I did it too soon. Okay. Gotta worry about the kicks a little bit, damn it. Okay, hit her when she's actually... Hit her when she's specifically in the air. Okay. That got her good. I gotta wait for the jump. There we go. Let's see, gotta go back to dodging for a bit. Ah, uh, damn it, I'm so close. Ah. Uh. When the enemy's bar is full, can you crit them? Yeah, you take off a full bar of health. There's two ways to take them down, just sometimes raw damage, but mostly you want to break their poise like that. Tough, though. Oh. I just realized I've got, uh, actually a decent chunk of skill points.
Okay. Getting better at it. Okay. Let's see. Oh, bad lag. I wish she'd stay on the ground longer. Ow. Crap, that hurts. As well heal. But yeah, you guys gotta stop backseat gaming a little bit. It's frustrating. And more or less makes me want to just turn off chat entirely. Because I don't care if there's stuff in the well or anything like that and repeating. Well, wow, that just homed in. But no, with a frustrating game like this, backseat gaming becomes progressively more frustrating uh to the to the point where like it's it's not enjoyable uh because it's just like hey wander have you done this hey wander you should do this hey wander you should do this it's like um i have the same problem with people asking me it's like Wander, are you gonna play you're gonna play sekiro wander you're gonna play sekiro Wander, are you gonna play sekiro and it's like i want to i do want to respond to these things but it's also like super freaking annoying uh, to look over and see at Wanderbot the same thing that's been said several times. I saw... Yes? I saw you and Lord Kuro in a vision. A vision? Yes. Where is Lord Kuro right now? He's being kept near the keep at Ashina Castle. The gate to the castle, however, is shut. I see. I'm glad you've come. Master Wolf. Okay. Goodbye. We don't have any gourd seeds. So, a couple of things. We want to... Uh, let's see. Acquire skills. Oh, we have Ashina Arts. Ichimanji delivers a heavy one-hit overhead sword strike, deals high posture damage, and also recovers one own posture with a strong forward leap. Not bad. Meter a prosthetic tool, fang and blade. Potency for the healing healing would be nice. I want Breath of Life light. But I feel like maybe I should pick up Ichimanji first. Or potency. Let's grab Ichimanji. What else do we have? Latent skill that for a few seconds after deflection increases damage to enemy posture from all sources. Ascending cart. Increases... Okay, both of these are amazing. Let's grab Ascending Carp. Okay, and we want to go Combat Arts. Ichimanji. That's a toughen. Let's see. Well, it's about as good as I'm going to be able to get it. So let's see if we can fight Butterfly Lady again. Uh... I'm getting better at it. But it's slow. Alright. Let's speed this up a lot. Uh, let's see. So this is post-commentary at this point. I'm not even sure if I'm going to talk this whole time. Uh, God, how many episodes are we in? I'd check, but it might me mess up the uh, recording of this. So I don't know. Let's say about 8 to 10, somewhere in there. Uh, so this is the second boss in the game, and it is trouncing me thoroughly. Uh, it might be kind of hard to tell. No, it should be pretty freaking obvious based on that death. Uh, but she is tough. She is really hard. I know there's a couple of tricks to her. Uh, it's part of the reason why I'm kind of speeding this up a little bit. Because I think it took me almost an hour to beat her. Which actually, grand scheme of things, from what I've heard, not actually a bad, um, bad time to beat her. Apparently she's quite tough. Uh, for a lot of people, I'm sure I'm going to get a billion people. It's like, but but Lobos Jr. beat her on the first try. And it's like, yeah, or, all right. I mean, that's kind of meaningless. Hey, I think that was actually maybe my first time I downed her in this section. I would have included it, but um, 
you guys will get to see the the eventual full win on this one at, at regular speed. Uh, suffice to say, this boss fight is kind of bullshit. I mean, in a decent way. She's well made, she's interesting, she's got very clearly defined patterns that are easy to work with. And once you've mastered the game, she's actually rather easy. The problem is, there's a couple of problems. One, I'm sure you've noticed there's a couple of like weird lag spikes that hit me. Those kind of suck. Uh, let's see, what else was there? Uh, I, I don't really like her like little homing shots, they're kind of frustrating. And, you know, obviously I'm not that great at this game. Oh yeah, the, the problem with the homing shots in Phase 2 is they are unblockable. Uh, you can't block them, they do full damage, they home in on you, and she often tends to summon quite a lot of them. Not an easy way I could find to, like, undo well, undo that, counter that, so eventually I just kind of started eating them. Because it was too risky to avoid them as well, because she just move in for a hit. Uh, let's see, her, her dumb, like, charge move, where she'd do the unblockable low sweep, I, I wasn't used to using jump to dodge yet, so that kind of threw me off as well. And then the last thing that I think I found most frustrating, apart from the lag spikes, which honestly are a serious problem and made me quite mad, is there's every once in a while she'll do the uh, jump up and then the, kind of the twist around the head move and like knock you down and do a ton of damage. You can counter that by hucking a shuriken at her and it'll knock her down. Problem is sometimes uh, Wolf just straight up misses. And I think it has something to do with, like, timing, you know, if you're too late, he'll just miss. But sometimes you just throw it wide no matter what. And that always got a little bit frustrating, just because, like, there's not much I can do in that situation, apart from just be like, well, I guess I'm just gonna take this damage now. And, you know, maybe there's, like, some hidden mechanic for, uh, increasing Wolf's accuracy. And maybe this is just something unique to me and everybody else is get good enough that, you know, they don't have to worry about that. But, again, all I have to do, all I can do is base things off of my personal feelings. I got kind of mad at it. That said, uh, on a more positive note, uh, this actually, I would say, is kind of a bit of a turning point for me in playing this. Uh, that after beating Lady Butterfly, this game actually got considerably easier. I got a lot better at the parry system. If you, I mean, I'm sure a billion of you guys were like, he's so shit at parrying and blocking and oh god. He can barely dodge. It's true. I actually haven't had to try in a From Software game in years. And even then, like, I, uh, that was... I played a little bit of Bloodborne at start, and I played a little bit of Dark Souls 3 at start. And then more or less was like, I'd rather play these multiplayer. And that's entirely true of this game, too. That if this had multiplayer, I would play it in a heartbeat. But I can't, so I guess I'm doing it solo. But, uh, so after this point... You'll actually probably see me start rolling enemies a lot harder. There's a couple that still give me trouble, uh, especially the really big guys, but I do substantially better. Which actually feels really good, you know, the stupid pride and accomplishment, blah blah blah. Uh, like, that sort of thing is... Like, it is real, especially in this game. I think it's still frustrating for me. I would almost prefer a slightly more casual difficulty, just so I could, you know, not stress myself over it, but I would know why they do these things. And it is appreciable how balanced it all feels in the end, even if it's brutal at times. I don't know. I like it. Let's see. I guess I might as well also take this time to kind of approach a couple of criticisms, apart from the fact that, yes, I obviously suck at this game, and yes, I will get frustrated at it. Please don't just say get good. That's like the least useful thing I can ever, anybody can ever say about this game is like, get better at the game. Oh, that's a good one, actually, that we just went past. I, I died. I still had my resurrection, but I just threw the run. Uh, you might see me do that a lot over the course of this series, and I know there's the stupid Dragon Rout system, system, but like, there's no way I'm going to preserve myself long enough that any NPC is going to be fine. Everybody's going to have Dragon Rot by the end of the series. Uh, and I'm going to try and finish some quests, but honestly, I'm more interested in just getting through to the end if I can. Uh, so I'll try and look up, like, you know, good ways of doing things. Because what I might do, there's consumable items that... I, I think we already have one at this point, yeah. That cures everybody of Dragon Rot, but temporarily, you know, based on... I start dying again, they all get the Rot again. Uh, so I might see if I can look up a, a guide on how to do that properly. Um, just 
you know, so I can get all the quests done at, at the right times. Or just realize that there's no way I'm going to be able to do it with my level of skill and just give up and just beat the game. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but so yeah, sometimes you'll see me die and I'll still have a resurrection, but I won't use it. In a lot of cases, it's just because the death for me felt, you know, it put me in a bad position. You know, sometimes I'll be surrounded by enemies. Sometimes I just won't be at a good tempo. And it's easier for me to have that mental clear of like, yeah, I'm just going to eat this death and try again then try and resurrect and, and tough it out because oftentimes that just means wasted time and more stress for me. Whereas like in, in comparison, starting from a checkpoint, yeah, obviously puts me back further, but it lets me get my, get into the right headspace. And so I don't know, that's important to me. Also, I should probably mention we're listening to, uh, the two songs we're listening to are Dark Souls, I Had a Name, and Dark Souls, The Fall of Artorias. Uh, both are remixes by Roi Taka, uh, which were pretty good. I don't know. I like the Dark Souls, and I like From Software's music. It's pretty good. I don't listen to it often, but it's nice and dramatic. That's good to listen to, especially when we're doing this sort of thing. Anywho, uh, let's see. What else can I even talk about? I'm trying to fill space. I Condensing an hour-long boss fight, many attempts of an hour-long boss fight, takes a while. I think and it's, it's like 10, 13 minutes long. So I'm just kind of rambling over things, post-commentary style. Actually, speaking of this, uh, this is kind of an important thing I should probably mention with this segment. So this is an experiment, mainly because I know people tend to complain if I put up the whole freaking boss fight. I tried doing this with, uh, with God of War and everybody's like, No, you spent too long on this fight, learn to edit. Which is actually an entirely valid criticism, but I find people always, like, voice criticisms in, like, the most frustrating way um but so i think i might try something with this one and then we can decide what we want to do from there honestly you guys get to decide and i'd love your input on this one but uh so obviously we're doing like a, a, a just battle montage here with me talking over it so that's one option another option is just battle montage me not talking over it which you know sometimes i might have things to say other times i might just be like this boss is bullshit and sucks uh, and then after a certain point it's like what do we even say uh, so I could just do, you know, the quiet montages. I could try only doing the good attempts, but that would take longer, which might mean I miss an episode here and there. Or, uh, I could just put everything in, just have a full episode called, uh, you know, Lady Butterfly Sucks, uh, and just have the full boss fight be an episode if it takes too long. Uh, or the last thing I could do, which I'm probably going to do with this one, is actually kind of do both. I'm doing the montage here. And then I'm probably going to put up a, a whole, uh, a whole, you know, long, hour-long hour something or other, which is just me fighting Lady Butterfly. So for those of you that want to watch me suffer and get actually mad at this game justifiably and unjustifiably, uh, then, you know, I'm going to put that up for this boss fight. And if people want, I can just do the, like, f you know, final fight, more or less, you know, just kind of skip ahead after a while. All I, all of these, I think, are valid. Right now, I'm doing this just because I am going to be away at PAX. And so, that kind of puts a strain on my schedule and I have to go for the shorter episodes. Normally, I shoot for 45, but this has to be a little bit longer. Which, actually, on that topic, I'm running out of time here. But, uh, you might notice a dramatic drop in skill sometime after the, like, third or fourth boss. It really depends on how much I record before I go. But, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'll probably let you know, but I'll be back and, uh, much worse at the game at some point. Anyway, here's the final fight. I played a lot more defensively, and it made a huge difference. Huge. Okay. Getting better at that one. Getting better at... Pretty much all of her patterns. There. Perfect. Actually, easy. Impressive, boy. In that case, uh. use 
yourself in my illusions. Wow. You just summoned these guys. Oh, don't mind me. I'll be watching from up here. Okay. You're surprisingly skilled, son of Owl. I thought that... There we go. None of my parries go off. I don't know. I think I'm getting tired. Okay. I'm getting tired. But... Whoops. Don't want to be there. I'm getting tired, but I've still got four heals left. Before she can even do anything to me. I don't really like her little unblockable light shot. They're kind of frustrating to dodge. Oh, she was creeping. Uh... There we go. Ow, shit. Ah, uh, not again. Okay, she's over here. I'd almost fight her. Whoops. Bad place to be. Okay, let's switch over to pellets. Okay, got it. Doing a decent chunk to her too. A lot of it has to do with dodging. Okay. Because I can knock her out of the sky. Okay. Are you... Really? Another? And, okay. There she is. I was kind of hoping I could get her with a smack, but her stamina is barely coming back. Wow. She did it to herself. Lady Butterfly. Okay, Lady Butterfly, the battle memory of an extraordinary foe lingering in the mind of the wolf. Commune with the sculptor's idol and confront memories of battle to permanently increase attack power. Lady Butterfly was a seasoned practitioner of illusions. 
Okay, and we also get a Sakura Droplet. Pale pink, pink Crystal Residue. Known to form when an Immortal Oath fails to establish. Increases Resurrective Power, allowing one additional Resurrection. To repeat Vows of the Undying and be rewarded of Resurrective Power once more surely necessitates the aid of a Divine Child of the Dragon's Heritage. Oh, man! Welcome, Stump Friends! You guys showed up at the best time! I'm no longer salty! Welcome to Sekiro! This game is kicking my ass. I think I spent the last hour fighting uh, this singular <laughs> boss. No. Well. <laughs> Guess it's not over yet. Hour and 20 minutes, cripes. That's longer than I spent on that stupid Valkyrie in God of War. On the plus side, I've gotten a lot better at parrying. Kinda. You fought bravely on my behalf. I cannot throw away such loyalty. Loyal wolf, take my blood and live again. Okay. Oh, hey. What is it? Okay. I don't think we have any new tools. No, we're done. Well, we do have a little bit more. How long do you spend trying to kill the undeadable boss fight in Valkyria Chronicles? You know, I don't remember. Uh, not that long. That was tough. Oh god, that's gonna be the rest of this game, isn't it? Uh, let's see. So we want to go to... Hmm, was it the Bamboo Thicket Slope? Yeah. We want to go back here. I want to go see if I can fight the Purple Man. Because if I can beat the Purple Man, that might work out my favor. Because he's guarding something. And yeah, I'm gonna boost my damage before we... Before we, uh... Continue for obvious reasons. <laughs> 